Adobe InDesign CC is the perfect tool for creating all kinds of publications. I'll show you how to create your own newsletter by starting with the sample file, which is an InDesign document that you can customize to produce your own well-designed newsletter. Our sample file includes headline text in a design frame, a placeholder frame for images, and three columns of text already set to the correct width. If we switch from normal to preview mode by pressing the letter W, we can see all the frame edges, grids, and guides that make up the underlying structure of our newsletter. I'll switch back into preview mode by pressing the letter W again. One of the most important things in our sample file are paragraph styles. Paragraph styles let you collect all the formatting you want to apply to your text, and then apply that formatting with a single click. Our template file contains the placeholder elements that we'll replace with our own content, including text and graphics. Let's start by choosing an image. One of the best sources for images is Adobe Stock, which we can access right through our CC Libraries panel. At the top of the panel is a search field that lets you search among the thousands of images in the Adobe Stock catalog. Our newsletter is about an art festival at a local school, so I'm going to search for Painting Art Class. All the relevant images appear in the library panel, and now I can scroll down and choose the one I want. I like this one. I can purchase the image, or I can download a preview to my panel by simply clicking on the cloud icon. The preview image appears in my CC Library panel, and I can now place it into my layout. All I do is drag the image over my placeholder frame. When my cursor is over the placeholder frame, I simply click to put the image in the frame. 